Acts chapter 20. Acts chapter 12, verse 6. It says, And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Rise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. The angel said unto him, Gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did, and he said, saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. Then they were past the first and the second ward, they came unto the iron gate and led it into the city, which opened it to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street, and with and forthwith the angel departed from him. Let's pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for this opportunity, God, to stand before you and stand before your people. God, I ask you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to meet every need today, Lord God. God, touch every soul, Lord God. God, I ask you, Lord God, do a work in us. God, bring forth thy word this morning under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Father, I pray, O God, that I am worthy of thy anointing this morning. God, I ask you to anoint me, O God. God, I ask you, Lord God, to take a live coal from the altar this morning. God, and touch my lips, O God, lay it upon my tongue. God, to preach this word, Father. And God, let that live coal sell in my heart, God. God, let it burn within me, oh God, burn within each and every other one of us. God, do a work this morning. God, I ask you, Father, God, for the gifts of the Holy Ghost to move today, Lord God, the gift of healing. God, the gift of wisdom, the gift of knowledge this morning. God, do a good work in us, oh Lord. God, I ask you, God, to give me clarity of speech and quantity of vocabulary, God. God, to preach this word, Father, without fault, without fail this morning. God, to bring glory unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. As I read this and as I thought about this, uh, amen, uh, uh, the thought in my mind came uh, is when you get to the iron gate. Uh, amen. Praise God. We find here that Peter, amen, had, had been arrested. He saw, amen, James, uh, amen, been beheaded, uh, amen, I believe at this time, uh, amen, and Herod, uh, amen, run out of time before he could kill Peter and he throw Peter in prison. Amen. Uh, there, there was a time here that, that he was bound. Uh, amen. The enemy was after him. Uh, amen. He was chained. Uh, amen. He was in the center of the of the prison. Uh, amen. To him there was no way out. Uh, amen. To him there was no answer. Uh, amen. To him in his mind. Uh, amen. I believe Peter thought. Amen. Uh, amen. I done saw my best friend killed. Uh, amen. And I'm next on the chopping block. Uh, amen. Uh, it's up to me. Amen. There's no way out of it. Amen. Praise God. He got to the place. Amen. That he was where he was. Amen. Amen. There's times in our life, church, we're going to be just like Peter. Amen. Amen. We're going to get to a place. Amen. That we look around. Amen. That enemy's done captivated our mind. We done got to the place that, amen, there's no way out of where I'm at. Amen. There's nothing I can do. Amen. I am chained. I'm bound down. Amen. There's nothing for me to do. I'm stuck between two soldiers. Amen. I'm stuck between two devils. Amen. There's nothing I can do. This place that I am in right now, there's no hope for me. Amen. Have you ever been there? Yes. Amen. Amen. We all have been there a time or two. Yes. Amen. There's no hope for us. Amen. Where I am, I'm here. Amen. There's no way out of it. 
There's nothing. I'm bound. I'm stuck. Amen. Let me tell you, church. Amen. When when there's a prayer meeting going on, amen, down the road, amen, there's something can happen. Amen. You read, you'll find there was a prayer meeting going on. Amen. It was somebody calling out for Peter. Amen. They was calling out his name to God. Amen. And when he was being called out, amen, God sent an angel down there. Yeah. Thank God for prayer. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank God that somebody's praying. Yeah. Thank yeah. God somebody's calling out. Yeah. Amen. Thank God. Let me tell you, church, when you start praying and calling on God for an individual, amen, somebody's coming their way. Amen. amen. This thing's not too loud, I hope, this morning. It is. Amen. I kind of figured Brother Jesse come turn me down a little bit since I've done him the other night. Oh, Amen. Praise God. Amen. But I don't want to hurt nobody's eardrums. I know I get a little loud sometimes. Amen. I get a little excited. Amen. But when the Lord starts feeling them, Amen. Uh, but that prayer meet was going on. Uh, amen. And folks was praying for Peter. Oh, amen. God. And God yes. sent an angel unto him. Uh, amen. Uh, praise God. Things started going in Peter's way. Yes. Amen. Uh, praise God. Uh, let me tell you, sometimes that you're bound down uh, and you're in a situation. Uh, amen. Uh, things ain't going right. Uh, amen. Uh, you don't understand why you're where you are. Uh, amen. And when you get there, uh, you say, oh, God, there's no hope for me. Yeah. Amen. There's no help for me. Yeah. Amen. Let me tell you, that's just what that devil wants to do. Yeah. Amen. He oh, wants to get your mindset. Yeah. Amen. For you to get thinking. Amen. There's no help. Yeah. There's no hope left. Amen. Yeah. I, I done went too far. Amen. I done allowed the enemy. Amen. To stop me. I done allowed yeah. myself to get chained up. I'm bound down and in prison. Amen. Oh, God. That's where it takes the church sometimes. That's where it takes amen. individuals. Amen. He'll, he'll, he'll make that. Uh, amen. He'll get you bound down. That's all sin does. Sin binds amen. you down. Right. Yes, amen. Amen. Puts you in prison. Amen. Amen. But well, let me tell you, you have a blessed hope today. Amen. Amen. When that devil brings you, oh, amen, God. to a place. Uh, Amen. That you don't want to be. Amen. Yes. You done got your mind made up. There's no hope. Amen. There is a hope today. Amen. His name's Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise God. He is our ever present help in time of trouble. Amen. When problems come, Jesus is there. Amen. Praise God. All we got to do is call on Him. Amen. Praise God. Peter done got to a place. Amen. He didn't know whether it was true or not. He thought it was in the vision. Amen. But then God actually sent an angel down to him. Amen. To bring him out. Amen. Let me tell you, church. God sent an angel down. Amen. That angel is a messenger. Amen. He sent the Holy Ghost to us today. Amen. To help us. He sent the Holy Ghost to us to guide us. Amen. To strengthen us. Amen. Pray God. We ain't here by our own accord. We're here because God saved us. Amen. God brought us. God's brought us to the place. Amen. To find yes, help. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Glory. To find help. Glory. Amen. Thank you. Peter got down. First thing happened. Amen. The Lord poked him. Or the angel of God poked him. Yes. Amen. Let me tell you, God needs to start poking some of us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We've got, uh, amen, in a place, uh, amen, that we ain't supposed to be. Come on. It's hard for a preacher to preach sitting in prison. Come, Come on. on now. Amen. On. Peter was not fulfilling God's call in his life where he was yeah. at. Uh, amen. Uh, praise God. Uh, amen. Let me tell you, sometimes where you at ain't where God needs you to be. Amen. What you're going through ain't what God needs you to do. Uh, amen. God needs to come by and poke you. Amen. Uh, may God come poke me. Uh, amen. God, I want to do what you call me to do. Uh, amen. Oh. He comes smote him on the side. Uh, amen. Uh, praise God. I imagine. Uh, amen. Just in my mind. Uh, amen. Peter done got himself in a position. Uh, amen. Uh, praise God. He was comfortable where he was. Uh, amen. Uh, because he fell asleep. Amen. Amen. 
He fell asleep being chained between two guards. Let me tell you, hey amen, I, I had a puppy one time, broke my heart. Mm -hmm. I had to chain him up, mm -hmm. and I left for work. When I came home, he was dead. Mm -hmm. Broke my heart, I loved that little puppy dog. Mm -hmm. But what happened, he was not content being chained. Mm -hmm. And so he done everything he could do to get off that chain. Amen. Let me tell you, Peter done had that enemy, done got him to his mind to a place that ain't no need to be fighting no more. Come on. Let me tell you, when that enemy chains you up, you need to fight with everything in you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. You need to fight with everything in you. Amen. Amen. I'd rather Lord. die fighting, amen, than lay there, amen, praise God, and lose out with God, amen, praise God, but Peter was not fulfilling what God called him to do, amen, if God wasn't intended Peter to die in that prison, amen, Lord. praise God, God had a place for Peter to die, amen, it was glorifying God, amen, there was no glory coming, amen, from him being tied up in prison, Lord. amen, I'd rather die glorifying God. Yes. Amen. Then died tied down in the prison house. Yes. Amen. There's so many Christians today. Amen. That's walked out on God. Amen. Because they have got to the place. I'd rather die in prison. Amen. Then die glorifying God. Amen. I pray God. There's so many Christians today that's backsliding. Amen. I'd rather die in prison. Amen. With the devil. Amen. Then then die glorifying God. I'll be crucified on the cross. Upside down. Amen. Pray God, church, it's time for us to be pulled by God again. Say, God, pull me one more time. Amen. I don't want to lay here in these chains. I don't want to die in this prison. Amen. I don't want to die. Amen. Living in this world. I don't want to be dying. Amen. Being, being captivated. Amen. Being tied down with sin. I want to die glorifying God in these last days. Amen. But he got to the place he had to be pulled by God. Amen. Said that angel, Lord, I know you go poke him. You go get him up. Come on. Because that ain't where I tended Peter to be. Amen. Let me tell you where you are at right now in God. Yes, mm -hmm. Ain't where God intends you. Amen. Amen. God don't intend for you to be bound down by the enemy. Amen. God don't intend for you to be complacent where you are with Him. Amen. Amen. Because if we ever quit growing, we start dying. Amen. You look at life. God shows us examples every day. That tomato plant is just going to get so tall. When it stops growing, it starts wilting. That's right. And it starts dying. So you plant them things in March, but about August, end of July, that thing's dead. Come on. Because it's done growing, yeah. it's done produced, and it's done stop growing. Mm -hmm. It's done stop producing. It started dying. Amen. Church, when we stop growing and we stop producing, we start dying. Amen. God poke me one more time. I don't want to be content where I'm at. God, I want to know that I've got a hope today. I've got a hope today. Amen. Praise God. Amen. When that angel Lord woke him up, first thing that fell off was what? Amen. The chains. Amen. Let me tell you, that's the first thing God wants to break off of you. Yes, Amen. There's those chains of this world. Amen. He wants to break off the chains of contentment. Amen. He wants, hey, let me tell you, contentment is just as much as sin as adultery is. Yeah. Amen. Oh. To the Christian, Amen. Contentment is just as much as sin as oh. cheating, lying, whore mugging, drunkenness. Oh. Amen. Because when you get content in God, you quit growing. Oh. Amen. I pray God, I know I've been there. I fell in it. Amen. I got to a place, amen, that I was content where I was at. Amen. The 
God does fill me with the Holy Ghost. Amen.